The Book of Malachi. Chapter 1 The Burden of the Word of the Lord to Israel. In the hand of Malachi, the prophet. I loved you, saith the Lord, and ye said, In what thing lovedest thou us? Whether Esau was not the brother of Jacob, saith the Lord, and I loved Jacob, but I hated Esau. And I have put Sire, the hills of him, into wilderness, and his heritage into dragons of desert. That if Adumea saith, we be destroyed, but we shall turn again, and build those things that be destroyed. The Lord of hosts saith these things, these men shall build, and I shall destroy. And they shall be called the terms of wickedness, and a people to whom the Lord is wroth, till into without end. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord be magnified on the term of Israel. The son honoured the father, and the servant shall dread his Lord. Therefore if I am father, where is mine honour? And if I am Lord, where is my dread? Saith the Lord of hosts. Ah, ye priests, to you that despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer on mine altar defouled, either unclean bread, and ye say, Wherein have we defouled thee? In that thing that ye say, the board of the Lord is despised. If ye offer a blind beast to be sacrificed, whether it is not evil. And if ye offer a crooked and sick beast, whether it is not evil. Offer thou it to thy duke, if it shall please him, either if he shall receive thy face, saith the Lord of hosts. And now beseech ye the cheer of the Lord, that he have mercy on you, for of your hand this thing is done, if in any manner he receive your faces, saith the Lord of hosts. Who is in you that closeth doors, and burneth mine altar of his own will, either freely? Will is not to me in you, saith the Lord of hosts, and I shall not receive a gift of your hand. For from the rising of the sun till to the going down, my name is great among heathen men, and in each place a clean offering is sacrificed, and offered to my name, for my name is great among heathen men, saith the Lord of hosts. And ye have defouled it in that that ye say, the board of the Lord is defouled, and that that is put above is contemptible, or worthy for to be despised, with fire that devoureth it. And ye said, Lo! of travel, and ye have blown it away, saith the Lord of hosts. And ye brought in of ravens a crooked thing, and sick, and brought in a gift, whether I shall receive it of your hand, saith the Lord. Cursed is the guileful, that hath in his flock a male beast, and he making a vow, offereth a feeble beast to the Lord. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among folks. Chapter 2 And now, ah, ye priests, this commandment is to you. If ye will hear, and if ye will not put on the heart, that ye give glory to my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I shall send neediness into you, and I shall curse your blessings, and I shall curse them, for ye have not put on the heart. Lo, I shall cast forth to you the arm, and I shall scatter on your face the drit of your solemnities, and it shall take you with it. And ye shall know, that I sent to you this commandment, that my covenant were with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace. And I gave to him a dread, and he dreaded me, and he dreaded of the face of my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and wickedness was not found in his lips. In peace and in equity he walked with me, and he turned away many men from wickedness. For the lips of a priest keep knowing, and they shall again seek the law of his mouth, for he is the angel of the Lord of hosts. But ye went away from the way, and caused to stumble full many in the law. Ye made void the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. For the which thing and I gave you worthy to be contemptible, either worthy to be despised, and bowed to all peoples, as ye kept not my ways, and took a face in the law. Whether not one father is of all you, whether not one God made of naught you, why therefore each of you despiseth his brother, and defouleth the covenant of your fathers? Judah trespassed, and abomination is done in Israel, and in Jerusalem. For Judah defouled the hallowing of the Lord, which he loved, and he had the daughter of an alien God. The Lord destroy the man that shall do this thing, the master and disciple, from the tabernacle of Jacob, and him that offereth a gift to the Lord of hosts. And again ye did this thing. 
ye covered with tears the altar of the Lord, with weeping, and wailing. So that I behold no more to sacrifice, neither receive anything pleasant of your hand. And ye said, For what cause? For the Lord witnessed betwixt thee and the wife of thy puberty, that is, time of marriage, whom thou despisedest, and this is thy fellow, and the wife of thy covenant of peace. Whether one made not, and the residue of spirit is his. And what seeketh one, no but the seed of God. Therefore keep ye your spirit, and do not thou despise the wife of thy youth. When thou hatest her, leave thou her, saith the Lord God of Israel. Forsooth wickedness shall cover the cloth of him, saith the Lord of hosts. Keep ye your spirit, and do not ye despise. Ye made the Lord for to travail in your words, and ye said, Wherein made we him for to travail? In that that ye say, Each that doth evil, is good in the sight of the Lord, and such men please him. Either certainly, where is God of doom? Chapter 3 Lo, I shall send mine angel, and he shall make ready the way before my face, and anon the Lord, whom ye seek, shall come to his holy temple, and the angel of the testament, whom ye will. Lo! he cometh, saith the Lord of hosts. And who shall be able to think the day of his coming? And who shall stand to see him? For he shall be as fire welling together, and as the herb of fullers, I the tuckers, and he shall sit welling together and cleansing silver, and he shall purge the sons of Levi, and he shall purge them as gold and as silver, and they shall be offering to the Lord sacrifices in right wiseness. And the sacrifice of Judah and of Jerusalem shall please the Lord, as the days of the world, and as old years. And I shall come to you in doom, and I shall be a swift witness to misdoers, either enchanters of devil's craft, and to adulterers, and to forsworn men, and that falsely challenge the hire of an hired man, and widows, and fatherless children, and oppress a pilgrim, and dreaded not me, saith the Lord of hosts. Forsooth I am the Lord, and I am not changed, and ye sons of Jacob be not wasted. Forsooth from the days of your fathers ye went away from my lawful things, and kept not. Turn ye again to me, and I shall again turn to you, saith the Lord of hosts. And ye said, In what thing shall we turn again? If a man shall torment God, for ye tormented me. And ye said, In what thing tormented we thee? In tithes and in first fruits. And ye be cursed in neediness, and all ye folk deceived me, and tormented. Bring ye each tithe into my barn, that meat be in mine house, and prove ye me on this thing, saith the Lord, if I shall not open to you the gutters of heaven, and shall shed out to you blessing, till to abundance. And I shall blame for you that that devoureth, and he shall not destroy the fruit of your land, neither barren vine shall be in the field, saith the Lord of hosts, and all folks shall say you blessed, for ye shall be a desirable land, saith the Lord of hosts. Your words waxed strong on me, saith the Lord. And ye said, What have we spoken against thee? And ye said, He is vain, that serveth God. And what winning for we kept his behests, and for we went sorrowful before the Lord of hosts. Therefore now we say proud men blessed, for they be builded doing wickedness, and they tempted God, and be made safe. Then men dreading God spake, each with his neighbor. And the Lord perceived, and heard, and a book of mind is written before him, to them that dreaded God, and thought on his name. And they shall be to me, saith the Lord of hosts, in the day in which I shall make, into a special treasure, and I shall spare them, as a man spared his son serving to him. And ye shall be turned again, and ye shall see, what is betwixt the just man and the unpious, betwixt the serving to the Lord, and not serving to him. Chapter 4 for lo, a day shall come, burning as a chimney, and all proud men, and all that do unpiety shall be stubble, and the day coming shall inflame them, saith the Lord of hosts, which shall not leave to them root and burgeoning. And to you dreading my name the son of right wiseness shall rise, and health in pens of him, and ye shall go out, and shall leap, as a calf of the drove. And ye shall tread the unpious men, when they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet, in the day in which I do, saith the Lord of hosts. Bethink ye on the law of my servant Moses, which I commanded to him in Horeb, to all Israel commandments and dooms. 
Lo, I shall send to you Elijah, the prophet, before that the great day and horrible of the Lord come. And he shall turn again the heart of fathers to sons, and the heart of sons to the fathers of them, lest peradventure I come, and smite the earth with curse. Amen.